So I played Dark Souls Remastered on the Nintendo Switch, and this is how it went. What's going on, you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here, and welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be a rather fun video. I tried Dark Souls Remastered on the Nintendo Switch, and I wanted to share my experience with you guys. Now, as a lot of you know, Dark Souls Remastered was my first ever experience of the Souls franchise back in 2021. It feels like forever that I've been playing those games, when in reality, I've only been playing Souls and Souls likes for three years. I played Dark Souls Remastered first on the Xbox, and now I'm playing it on the Nintendo Switch, and oh my gosh, there is a significant difference. First of all, the controls are a lot smoother, believe it or not, on the Nintendo Switch than they are on the Xbox, which I find very weird. They're not clunky. The graphics are pretty impressive. I was actually really surprised at how actually immensely impressive the graphics were on the Nintendo Switch. See, all I need to do is now get it for my PC and the Holy Trinity will be complete. The controls were kind of weird, though, even though they were really fluid and really well done. The controls were kind of switched around and it took me a hot minute to get used to. Since the Nintendo Switch is X, Y, A, B, it was kind of reversed the way it was done where the A was to go back and the B was to press enter. Very odd. I'm telling you guys, when I played Dark Souls Remastered on my Nintendo Switch before going to bed while having a hot cup of coffee, I know, shut up. It was the most relaxing thing ever second to playing Cozy Grove on the Nintendo Switch before bed. Now, I'll give you guys a further update as I progress in Dark Souls Remastered on the Nintendo Switch, but for right now, it is so good. It's so buttery. The controls are really well implemented into the Nintendo Switch version, and I'm not noticing any lag or bugs at all whatsoever. All of the footage that you have been seeing in this video is from the Nintendo Switch. I know, crazy, right? It's really cool, and it's really awesome that this game has been ported to the Switch. Now, all we need is Dark Souls 2 and 3 to be ported to the Nintendo Switch, and that will be absolutely perfect. Also, this is the first time in Dark Souls Remastered that I am utilizing magic because I hated the way magic was done in Dark Souls Remastered. When I first played at it, it was probably because I wasn't as accustomed to the Souls games as I am now. But when I first played Dark Souls, I absolutely hated the way the magic was utilized. I hated how clunky it was. I hated how slow the, uh, the soul arrows and the orbs just, you know, came out. But utilizing it now, having played more Souls games, having been immersed in the community and the games and Souls likes for over three years, it's really good. And the magic in this game is also quite broken. Early on in the beginning of the game, you can take down enemies in almost one hit. It's, it, it's that broken. It's very OP and I can't imagine how my build is going to increase in OP-ness when I get further into the game because right now it is, it's very, it's very strong. Normally I either go with a dex build or do strength when it comes to the Dark Souls trilogy. Um, the first time I ever actually tried a magic build was in Elden Ring and I had so much fun with that. But you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to give you guys an update as far as my adventure on Dark Souls Remaster goes on the Switch. If you guys have any questions about anything Souls or Souls-like, hit me up down in the comments below and I would love to answer. But that's it for today's video, you guys. If you all like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below. I make videos every weekday here on YouTube. May you find your worth in the waking world, your hunter. Stay casually nerdy, and I will see you all in the next video. Mbasa.